Hey guys, it's Jake here with eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at and show you how to install the eTrailer electric brake setup. This is going to be a drum setup. If you need just the one side, you can pick up a single, but they do come in a pair also. Now what's really nice about this brake setup is it's going to have a Decromat coating on it, which is going to help resist further against that rust and corrosion. So you're going to be able to use it in many different applications even marine applications. It's going to stand up to that constant exposure to water. Now these brakes are going to be manually adjusted, so you're going to be able to adjust them to whatever you might be hauling. You're just going to pop out this plastic cap here and make your adjustments on the inside. These brakes are going to apply to most standard hub and drum assemblies. The dimensions of them are going to be 12 inches in diameter and 2 inches wide. The mounting flange bolt pattern is going to be a 5 bolt. The wheel size that these brakes are going to fit on is going to be 14 and a half, 15, 16, and 16 and a half. And be able to work with axle ratings of 5,200, 6,000, and 7,000 pounds. Now these brakes, now although these brakes are going to be just like your standard drum brakes, they are going to have that extra coating. So if you find yourself going into wetter conditions, such as marine applications, these might be a better option for you. Now that we've gone over some of those features, let's go ahead and show you how we got them installed. Now we went ahead and ripped off the old brakes and hubs so we can get our new ones in place. Go ahead and match up the bolt pattern, slide it into place, making sure you're not smashing down your wiring in the back. Just a little tip. You'll see here it says right hand side, but in case these stickers are missing, your magnet will always be on the bottom and your bracket will always be facing to the front of the trailer. We can go ahead and get our nuts in place. You'll want to reuse the nuts that came off your old brakes because you'll reuse them here. Now we'll take a 916 socket and tighten them all down. Now you want to make sure you go in a star pattern so that it tightens it evenly. And we can go ahead and get our wires matched up on the back. They're not going to matter which one you wire to which. So we'll go ahead and take our black connector. And our other wire through from our trailer. Trim it down, give it a little tug. And we'll do the same for this other wire. I would recommend using heat shrink butt connectors because these wires will be outside and expose the elements and this will make sure it stays nice and clean. So we're going to be putting new hubs on with our new brake system. We don't want the scoring that the magnet can cause to mess with our new system. So we'll go ahead and slide it in place. And then you want to pack grease into your bearing and you slide it in and you can slide on your washer and then you want to thread on your nut and you want to take a pliers tighten it down then loosen it up Tighten it back up, loosen it up again, and then just turn it until it wants to stop. And then you want to back it up just a hair. And then what you want to do is test it out, make sure it spins. And then you want to rock your hands back and forth on the hub to make sure it's got no play in it. Now this setup we have here has a little cage that goes over the end and clips onto the nut. Yours may have a cotter pin. So what you want to do is you'll take your cap and you can tap it on with your hand. And take a block of wood so you don't damage your cap and tap it on the rest of the way. There we go. Now we can go ahead and take our wheel and set it in place. Now 
and we can thread on our nuts. Now we can go ahead and torque down our nuts. That'll do it for a look at the e-trailer electric trailer brake kit.